Now they were, <clears throat> they were getting a new director for MOCA. He was going to open up new frontiers. A number of people says, well, if you want this thing to be way out there, get a hold of this guy, Robert Williams. The painting itself was in the Helter Skelter show. It's a combination of one of Robert's greatest pieces. The original is owned by Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I posed him the question, why haven't you ever done a really nice limited edition print with pure colors, pure passes? And he said, wow, you can't really do that. It's impossible. How are you going to get one of these involved paintings to be a seriograph? Now the picture has got a pretty young lady dressed in carnival attire with majorette boots and a phony child's plastic space helmet to go along with the theme. The, the, the poor individual that's square shaped has got some little plastic doodad on his head. I mean, it isn't like a eight or ten color thing. You got blends and things, you know, you can simplify this thing into like a color cartoon maybe. And he says, no. I can give you every brush stroke in this thing, every color change. And I thought, well, how are you going to do that? So being the fool that I am, I said, my printer can do it. David Fick can do it. We had to go and meet it uh, in three hours before the show even started and did about five hours of color comparisons and matchings and all that kind of stuff, taking all kinds of notes on it. 144 hand-separated passes beautiful pure colors in perfect registration. So I was inspired by this growth pattern of these watermelons and I thought well, what if we had a circus freak that would uh, fit this category. So I would come across the notion of taking someone that already had a, a congenital deformation of being a hydrocephalic so that their head would be spongy like a watermelon and having them raised in a box and passed off in a sideshow as being an alien. Also in the painting is an abstraction done in an expressionist sloppy style of that interpretation of a freak coming out of popping out of a box. And along with that there's an additional little cartouche done rendered in chrome plate of a little chrome plated Martian in a flying saucer. So you had three or four different uh, cues there to round out this thing kind of harmoniously. To, if you have any doubt, the thing told its own story. It is the definitive art masterpiece of printing that anyone will ever hope to find. So it's been in this suspended animation, this masterpiece print out in the desert, and now they're available at Wall Art Gallery, a masterpiece. The waterhead who was raised in a box. It was, ex it was painstaking. Yeah, it was painstaking, challenging. challenging. Um, I don't think we'll ever do it something like this again, uh, <laughs> knowing what we got into. Um, we'll never and, knowingly get yeah, into something like yeah. this again. And